Je vous présente le docteur américain Morteur, héritier de la méthode BEST Explication. BEST veut dire bio, énergétique, synchronisation, technique. Donc on va permettre à ce que la vie recircule dans un corps entre toutes ces dimensions, c'est-à-dire l'être spirituel, l'âme, le mental, l'émotionnel et le corps physique. This technology actually was started by my father and it started in 1975. It started by my father observing how people became sick or became ill, how they, became, how they began to develop symptoms. And what he determined was that you could never treat enough of the symptoms to correct what he discovered as the cause. You must actually work on the cause of why people actually develop the symptoms. Ce qui met désordre dans ce capital, eh bien, il y a six essentiels qui peuvent le mettre. Il peut y avoir l'alimentation, la boisson, le sommeil, la respiration, les exercices physiques et 95% la pensée, les croyances négatives. Dès que vous êtes en émotion négative, vous savez que vous êtes en désaccord avec la vision de cette intelligence supérieure. There is an energy field that is about the body and that energy field is supposed to flow a certain way. And when it does not flow a certain way, then we begin to develop physical symptoms in the area where the body isn't, where, where the energy of the body isn't flowing properly. All healing comes from within. And that's the power of this technology, is to redirect that energy so that the power that made you can again heal you. What we're looking for is body balance. The outcome is to have both arms strong, the upper half of the body, because when the energy doesn't flow properly in the body, the top half or the bottom half or the right side or the left side may show, may show up where the interference is. So we're going to be testing for the conscious brain with the eyes open and the subconscious when we, when we actually close our eyes. So we'll just take an arm, hold this for me. I'm going to push it towards your feet. Push back, please. Hold this. Excellent. And close your eyes for me. Hold this. Excellent. Those are both very strong. So we'll take this arm, hold this, and close your eyes. Hold this, and it becomes very weak. Simply by closing her eyes, it's like she's two different people. One with your eyes open, hold this, that's very strong. She's, she is in a, in a good body balance. However, as soon as she closes her eyes, just by closing the eyes, the arm becomes very weak. I can push it down with a single finger. Her body is doing two different things, so it's fighting right now. When her eyes are open, her body is one way. When she closes her eyes, her body is another way. Quand on ferme les yeux, c'est-à-dire que l'on veut voir si la fréquence, l'interférence se trouve dans le monde de, de l'inconscient et quand vous ouvrez les yeux, dans le monde du conscient. Donc, la circulation de l'énergie change. La circulation de l'énergie change, c'est-à-dire que vous pouvez, au niveau inconscient, être tout à fait en paix avec quelque chose, mais au niveau conscient, le petit vélo tourne dans la tête et c'est à ce niveau-là qu'il y a véritablement, et vous en êtes conscient, vous dites ça, chaque fois dans cette situation-là, il y a quelque chose qui se passe et ça me met en colère. Vous en êtes consciente. Et il y a d'autres fois où vous n'êtes absolument pas conscient, où vous sentez l'émotion monter, mais vous ne savez pas ce qui se passe. Now we're going to check down here. By looking, just relax this. Good. We're going to check in length to see if, if, the, if the legs are doing the same thing. And we're also going to do an internal and external rotation. Good. And now close your eyes for me. Close. Oh, see we get a difference here also. If you'll notice, when she closes her eyes, I can turn this leg in on her left side, and the right side just locks. Watch, it just stops. It goes to right there and stops. So the top half of the body is doing something differently, right side and left side, and the bottom half of her body is doing something that's exactly the opposite of that, because instead of it going weak, it gets tighter or more tension. 
the arms are stimulated and the legs are stimulated by different nerves and those nerves cross over from one side of the body to the other and that's where the challenge is at this point. Now we're going to find out where the actual interference is. Is it something that happened uh, mentally or emotionally? Was she under a particular amount of stress? Was there a particular event that happened in her, in her past? Something has caused her body to become exhausted or to become tired or to become asymmetrical, meaning that we are designed to have the right side and the left side do the same thing. Avant la séance, on est en train d'établir euh, le langage du corps de la personne. On repère son oui, on repère son non aussi bien au niveau des bras qu'au niveau des pieds. Donc ça s'apprend. Donc il n'y a rien de magique, il n'y a pas un don à avoir. Donc c'est technique et c'est cela que l'on apprend d'ailleurs avec les docteurs morteurs. Donc à partir de là, une fois qu'on a le oui et le non, on vérifie le oui, c'est en fait un plein d'énergie. C'est très intéressant d'ailleurs de le savoir. Et un non, c'est un vide d'énergie. Chaque fois que nous disons oui, nous nous remplissons d'énergie. Nous laissons l'énergie circuler et en fait le non bloque l'énergie. Et après, avec les yeux ouverts et fermés, on demande à la personne de penser à un ciel bleu. On prend un repère neutre. C'est très rare les personnes qui ont eu des stimulations ou quelque chose qui se passe dans, dans leur vie à partir d'un ciel bleu. Donc, et là, on voit sur ce repère neutre s'il y a effectivement des pleins en termes d'énergie ou des vides en énergie. Normalement, la santé, on est fait pour être symétrique, on est fait pour avoir les yeux ouverts sur un ciel bleu, les, les bras qui tiennent, et les yeux fermés. Quand on pense à un ciel bleu, on doit avoir les bras qui tiennent aussi. Et au niveau des pieds, on doit avoir une rotation complètement fluide sur un ciel bleu, les yeux ouverts, sur un ciel bleu, les yeux fermés, et on doit avoir la même longueur des jambes, les yeux ouverts et les yeux fermés sur le ciel bleu. Si un des paramètres n'est pas bon, on sait déjà qu'il y a une interférence qui est en train de, comme on dit, twister le corps. Donc euh, créer une distorsion au sein du corps, une un manque de communication, un manque de synchronisation entre toutes les dimensions. Il y a une dimension qui n'est pas alignée en fréquence. I need you to think about a recurring thought, some thought that pops into your mind a number of times a day. In other words, whenever you're just you're at your desk or you're you're doing your work or you're driving in your car and all of a sudden this thought comes out of thin air, comes out of nowhere and pops into your mind. Do you have one of those? Yeah. Okay. Let me have you think about that thought. Think about that thought. Hold this for me. And instantly, when she thinks about that thought, it makes the arm that was once strong go weak. Think about the thought again, the recurring thought. Hold this. Excellent. Now if I'll just have her think about something positive, just think about a beautiful blue sky. I'll show you the difference in how quickly this changes. Think about a beautiful blue sky. Hold this. It's as strong as can be. And all she has to do is think about that specific reoccurring thought and instantly her arm will go weak. So we can't change what happened. I don't even know what that thought is. I don't need to know what that thought is because she knows what that thought is. So what I'm going to have her do is to just focus on that thought, okay? And as you focus on that thought, let's see what happens in the bottom half. See, it has no impact on her lower extremities. It just creates an imbalance in the upper half of the body. I want you to think about the feeling of inspired. There is a specific feeling because every feeling that you have has a different frequency and a different vibration. And each of the different words that we ask people to think about, there's a reason for that. There is a specific word. In this case, it's inspired. Hold this for me. Think of the feeling of inspired. Excellent. And there's nothing she can do to make that strong. So I know we have the specific feeling. Now, the feeling that is inspired is, is a very different feeling than what she would have had when she thought about the recurring thought. There's a disconnect there. Is that true? Yes. Yes. It's always true. Always. I've never had 
the person say, that was what I was thinking. It's never that thought. And the reason it's never that thought is because, what is the feeling that you have when you think of that? When that recurring thought happens, what's the feeling that comes to mind? Mm. Anger, sad. Okay, anger or sadness. Now, why? if she thinks of the feeling of anger, watch this. Hold this for me, hold. It has no impact on the arm. If she thinks of inspired, hold this. It instantly impacts the strength of the arm. It instantly impacts the strength of her whole body. You see, the reason that it's never the same word is because if it were the same word, she would have already solved this problem. She would have already come to a solution. But she's trying to solve the problem in anger, and it needs to be solved in the feeling of inspired. They're two very different frequencies, two very different energies. I want you to keep your eyes open for me. I want you to turn them in the direction like you're going to look up toward your eyebrow. I want you to take a deep breath in. Hold that breath in as long as you can. I want you to think of the feeling of inspired and the number eight. Eyes open, look up toward your eyebrows, hold your breath as long as you can. Think of the feeling of inspired and the number eight. Eyes open, up, inspired, and eight. Excellent. Now just relax that breathing. I want you to just lift your head for me and put your head back down. It stimulates certain neurological pathways in the brain to check and see if we have accomplished the balance that we're looking for. Now I'm going to have her go back and think about the recurring thought that she had. The same thought that you had thought of before, okay? Hold this for me. Hold. And now it no longer impacts her by making her weak. You see, it no longer exhausts the system when she thinks of that. So we're going to check it with her eyes open and her eyes closed to see if we have the body completely balanced like we're looking for. So keep your eyes open. Think of the recurring thought. Hold this for me. Excellent. Now close your eyes. Hold this. Beautiful. And now the right arm, eyes open. Think of the recurring thought. Hold this and closed. Hold this. Excellent. Both of those arms are now equally strong, eyes open and eyes closed. So we have the balance and the symmetry that we're looking for. Those are the indicators that we're looking for. Now in the lower half of her body, I want you to think about the reoccurring thought. Eyes open. And now close your eyes. Remember when we closed her eyes before, her right leg locked up or just stopped in its internal rotation. Now it turns in equally, just like the left leg does. Cette fréquence, cette, euh, cette émotion positive que l'on trouve en interrogeant euh, vraiment l'être de la personne qui, qui donne son oui et son non à travers les pieds ou les bras, en fait, va guider aussi bien euh, sur la fréquence négative qui s'était engrammée et qui interférait avec la circulation de la vie entre les dimensions, et ensuite va trouver la fréquence positive qui a été recouverte et qui ne s'exprimait plus au sein de la circulation de la vie de la personne. Dans le cas où c'est joie, on sait donc que c'est cette fréquence qui va enfin reprendre toute sa dimension et pour l'intégrer, permettre aux deux hémisphères cérébraux de refonctionner sur cette fréquence-là et non plus, dans votre exemple sur Parano, que l'on va agir. Ensuite, pour l'intégrer, il va y avoir un chiffre, il va y avoir la vibration d'un chiffre aussi qui va intégrer cette fréquence. Et là, c'est un peu les principes de la numérologie et chaque, on le, on le sait très bien, chaque chiffre va avoir son, son indication. Quand c'est le chiffre 1, c'est vraiment pour la personne elle-même. C'est moi euh, qui ai besoin plus particulièrement en termes de leadership de ma vie de cette fréquence. Si c'est le 7, c'est plus lié à l'âme. I don't know what the recurring thought was. It's not important that I know it as the practitioner. What is important is that she knows what it is. 
And when she was thinking about that recurring thought, it created asymmetry in her body. What that means is her body could not possibly operate as efficiently as it could when it works harder on one side than it does on the other. And that's really the key. That's the key to bringing about the total body balance that best, the bioenergetic synchronization technique, allows the patient to accomplish. It puts her brain and her body back communicating together so that they can operate as efficiently as they were designed originally. And that's really the key in bringing about this balance so that her body runs as efficient as possible. À chaque fois que une personne euh, a besoin d'une synchronisation exprimée par les bras ou les pieds en début de soin, on trouve systématiquement à chaque fois la fréquence qui interfère et à chaque fois la fréquence qui corrige. 100% du temps sur 100% des personnes, je n'ai jamais rencontré ce record, cette réalité. Ça se fait aussi et ça donne d'excellents résultats sur les animaux qui, comme nous, sont sujets à des dysfonctionnements énergétiques. 